I have a rare opportunity for you. It seems there may be a tomb hidden on that forsaken rock you call Phobos. Tombs mean treasure. And yet, sadly, my usual relic hunters are superstitious idiots who refuse to disturb this so-called sacred place. You, Tenno, however, are more pragmatic, especially when it comes to ducats. Am I right? Hmm. Oh, my. You can feel the filth and grit in every breath. This desolate rock is the former colony of the backward-thinking sky worshippers. Their stories are worth as much as the sand around you. Nothing. The Grenier took pity on their miserable existence years ago, returning this so-called civilization to the sand. Yet for some elusive reason, their relics have become quite fashionable and thus valuable. Rare antiquities. That's why we... Ignore these glyphs. Nothing but nonsense about their so-called God King. Inaros, is it? How quaint. The only thing heaven sent from Inaros will be the prices relics fetch at auction. Hush, hush, my little Dune. You don't need to be scared. There, there. That's right, shake out the sand. But remember, not all of it. And I'll tell you the story. Tenno, what is this? Why are you doing that? Long ago. The lands of our colony were cursed. They were soaked in fear. The Golden Skymen would come and take our children away. Young and old alike cowered before them, afraid to lose their most beloved. That voice! Tenno, stop this! But then he came. The Fear Eater. The Sky Killer. He was called Inaros. <laughs> vessel. It will contain precious relics. There, there, you're not defiling a tomb. You're creating wealth. Return to your ship. We must examine this vessel further. I could have never foreseen this. That vessel, it contains primitive etchings that seem to be a sort of blueprint. Was a warframe entombed there? Look at it. It's exquisite. There's an inscription. Prove you are him. Destroy the ones who oppress. Destroy who? Does this smudged glyph represent some enemy? You'll have to carry that vessel into battle and prove yourself if we are to unlock these secrets. Tenno, look. The glyph. It's completely clear. And there's a new inscription. Return for him. Return to the tomb so we can get past this superstitious nonsense and onto something worthwhile. I'll be grateful when this is over. I cannot stand this barren place. Even the Oricon could not have enlightened these stands. Take the vessel to the door. What happens? Little one, after this you must sleep. again. began not as our king, but as our enemy, a warrior of the Golden Skymen. But for each child the Skymen took away, Inaros grew even more angry, until one fateful night. Another child had been taken, and the villagers had gathered in a mourning circle, weeping, until they heard a small voice. By the tombs, it was the child returned. 
As he approached, the people gasped in horror as they saw that he was drenched in blood. His father rushed to the boy and embraced him and saw that he had no wounds. Whose blood is this? he asked. The boy looked to the sky and said, This is the blood of the Skymen. This is the work of Inaros. By the sand and the stars, the Skymen raged. They set upon Inaros with their armies, but none could prevail. For he commanded the sand, he commanded death. Inaros ate their fear and became stronger. None of this, none of this could be true, could it? And so they left us and took with them our fear. On that day, Inaros became our king and in a great whirlwind of sand, ascended to watch over us from his throne in the sky. What if? It, it can't be. I think there are more up ahead. Voice. Return to your ship. I I must collect myself. I'm beginning to think this Inoros myth was drawn from an actual warframe. Oh, I see. Another glyph. Another challenge. See if you can figure out which enemy it represents. This wretched place. Why did I even come here? I keep telling myself it was the treasure, but... Push it back, stupid barrow. There's no wealth in these memories. Tenno, we need to open that next chamber. Go. By the void, the Grenier have picked up our scent. They'll take me. It's in Oros. You have to stop these animals at once. So where is she? That voice. I think I need to hear the rest. I think I've needed to hear this for a long time. were our own to keep, but the sands of peace are ever shifting. Years later, a plague came to the desert, the infested. Desperate, our people called out to the sky, Inaros, Inaros, but they could not wake him, and so they were consumed by the ravenous horde. With all lost, the few remaining villagers gathered in the morning circle to prepare for the end, when suddenly, a storm rose about them, a colossal spiral storm of sand piercing the sky. The villagers huddled, trapped within the storm's eye as the beasts charged them. In moments, the beasts were torn apart and the infested plague was swept away, never to be seen again. As the storm subsided, the people ventured out into the desert, hoping to catch a glimpse of their savior, their beloved Inaros. Get ready. They found his glorious metal body, broken and still, lying in the sand. Did they mourn? No, no. They knew his spirit had returned to the sky to watch over them once again. They gathered his body to keep it safe from thieves and raiders. They placed the pieces within the sacred vessels and entombed them in secret, knowing that one day Inaros would reclaim his body and rise again. So now, my sweet dude, you have no need of fear. Take these grains and keep them under your pillow. Inaros will watch over you. Find extraction. We're done here.
The story isn't just a myth, is it? Look at this sacred vessel, one of four, just as she described. And the challenges. You must prove your Tenno. The Grineer are returning in force! Tenno, I don't care about the money anymore. Just stop those dogs from getting in Auros. Cut them down. Make them fear this place. The Grineer should be swept away. Quickly, quickly, my sweet Dune, they're coming. I tried so hard to forget. Grains in your hand tight. Inaros will protect you. It wasn't me I was worried about. What do you want? No, you have no right. Inaros. 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 No, no, it's just me. Inaros. Inaros. No. But Inoros never came. You've shown me why I came here, Tenno. Not for riches. How big is this place? The doors are closing again. Prove that you're worthy of Inoros' strength one last time. My mother's call will be answered. Inoros will rise again. Come home, Tenno.